Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is May 18th, 2024, and we have a lineup of intriguing stories for you. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. First up, a federal judge has rejected Tesla's attempt to dismiss a lawsuit accusing the company of misleading customers about the readiness of its full self-driving cars. The lawsuit centers on a 2016 video that falsely advertised autopilot and full self-driving features as imminent, leading many owners to pay a premium for these capabilities. While some claims were dismissed, the lawsuit allows owners to pursue negligence and fraud-based claims if they relied on Tesla's representations. The case seeks unspecified damages for those who purchased or leased Teslas with autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and full self-driving since 2016. Elon Musk has long promoted the idea of autonomous driving, but the reality has yet to meet those lofty promises. Tesla is also under federal investigation for autopilot defects linked to fatal crashes and for allegedly exaggerating its progress. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is probing whether Tesla's recall of over 2 million cars adequately addressed autopilot safety risks. Tesla maintains that autopilot allows vehicles to steer, accelerate, and brake within lanes, while full self-driving enables them to obey traffic signals and change lanes autonomously. In a lighter yet equally revealing story, Motor Trend conducted a drag race to test Elon Musk's claim that the Tesla Cybertruck can tow a Porsche 911 faster than the Porsche can race alone. The race featured a Porsche 911 Carrera T and a lightweight trailer, similar to what Tesla used in its demonstration. Despite giving the Cybertruck every possible advantage, including weight adjustments and ideal conditions, the Porsche consistently won all six quarter-mile drag races. The Cybertruck couldn't even beat the Porsche in the eighth-mile race. Detailed analysis showed that the Porsche's superior acceleration and aerodynamics allowed it to outperform the Cybertruck. This debunked Tesla's claim and highlighted the importance of substantiated marketing in the automotive industry. In other news, Tesla has announced another round of layoffs, cutting approximately 600 jobs at its manufacturing facilities and engineering offices in Fremont and Palo Alto, California. This move is part of the company's ongoing restructuring efforts following a drop in first quarter sales and a 30% decline in its stock price this year. The layoffs affected roles across various departments, from entry-level positions to directors, including factory workers, software developers, and robotics engineers. CEO Elon Musk had previously mentioned that Tesla would cut more than 10% of its global workforce which totaled 140,473 employees at the end of 2023. The company has been reducing its headcount since January due to weakening demand for its electric vehicles and increased competition. The restructuring also includes terminating employees involved in designing and improving apps for customers and employees. Despite these challenges, Tesla is focusing on developing self-driving software, a robotaxi, and a humanoid robot, while also working on expanding and optimizing its charging infrastructure to meet customer demands. Lastly, Motional, Hyundai's robotaxi service joint venture, is facing significant challenges, including investor pullouts, a delayed service launch, and a substantial reduction in its workforce. This comes as Tesla plans to launch its robotaxi service in August, utilizing a simpler AI architecture. Motional had aimed to launch level four driverless robotaxis by 2023, but has faced technological hurdles, still requiring human safety operators, unlike competitors like Waymo. Tesla's approach involves using cameras and a lightweight AI model, eliminating the need for extensive computational power. Hyundai recently invested nearly $1 billion in Motional to support its operations, but Motional announced a delay in its commercial robotaxi launch to 2026 and laid off about 40% of its workforce. The commercial potential of robotaxis is significant, with Tesla's full self-driving subscriptions and robotaxi platform fees projected to generate billions annually by 2033. Despite these challenges, the industry continues to invest in autonomous driving technologies due to their revenue-generating potential for car makers and consumers. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. Thank you for tuning in. 
Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on the world of Tesla and beyond. Stay curious and stay informed.